update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I've uh, posted this chart here. There's one of the things we've been looking at over the last few weeks. We're going to update it because we did make a new high in our 2024 run. Uh, even in the S&P, we actually made a higher high by one tick. That was in the cash, and you notice we made it in the Dow Jones. We made the 127. We missed it in the NASDAQ. I didn't only made the 78% retracement, as did the Russell, but the others all did make that. The first day down after the holiday, if you remember, the third is the day we were looking for. Uh, we were down about 600 points, went a little lower than that earlier in the evening, yesterday and early this morning, down seven, rallied back 250 or so today. So it's still in a you know, bullish mood. I, I saw that uh, United Healthcare went above 608 today, it's trading $10 lower than that right now. And IBM had made a new high today, and Johnson & Johnson had made a new high today. Uh, of course, some of the others, Microsoft and a few of the others that we've been watching, have not been able to do that. Now, our guest today will be Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. He does some of the best work around. We have him on at least once a month to try to, you know, make sense of all the things that are happening here in these markets. And believe me, folks, we're having incredible volatility and it's going to increase Oh, dear, at least for the next couple of years, I would think, because we've seen things we've never seen before, like records in the stock market with number of up days without a correction and that type of thing. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, the grain markets looks like they've made some type of a bottom in here. We've had some strength come in the last couple of days, which is uh, nice to see. So we'll be looking to buy those uh, on a pullback for sure. That's the main thing we want to be watching. Now, I think I have to check the old clock on the wall up here and see what we're doing here. We've got uh, 51 seconds left. So I wanted to bring to your attention one other and this is a uh, chart of the Caterpillar. People asked me about that yesterday. You notice it had three lower tops in here. This is not a typical 135 pattern, folks, because there is no symmetry here. If there were some symmetry, then there would be a 135. But if you take out either one of these highs, you don't. So what does that make this? This makes this a head and shoulders pattern. There's your left shoulder, there's your head, and there's your right shoulder. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back, and then shortly after that, we're going to have Bill Meridian as our guest. So stay with us. Thank you. 